Hi, in the last video we saw that you can track code coverage visually and get rid of the code that's not useful. In this video we will focus on mocking API calls, file operations and DB calls when replaying. Let's take a sample method. In this method we can check if we can deliver something to a customer based on the weather condition at their location. So this method takes customer ID as an input then fetches the customer profile. This is a DB call. Then it passes the address to a weather API and gets weather information of the location. It then checks if the current precipitation at the location is less than 2.51 and it sets the can deliver flag to true. The method then writes a report to a file. Now this is a file operation. Let's click on the cyan color icon and go to direct invoke. Let's call this method with customer ID 10. See those ghost icons? Unlock adds ghost icons to the lines that can be mocked. Let's click on the line that fetches the customer profile. You can mock it with recorded data. Let's paste it here. Let's now move on to the line that calls weather API and let's paste the weather information we got. Now let's mock the file operation. You could mock the external calls in no time at all. Note that you can switch the mocking on and off as you need. When mocking is enabled, we inject the mocking code in runtime so that actual calls won't happen. Let's now go to direct invoke and test this out with a different ID. Let's send 11 as the customer ID this time. And you can see that you got the mocked response for the mocked lines. right? So how does this help when you are coding? As you write the code, Unlogged automatically identifies the new lines of code that can be mocked. This is particularly useful when you are writing the code that depends on other microservices. In this case, you can manually define the mocks and proceed with your dev work. Now what's a permanent mock? When you are testing your code from say Postman or UI, you may not always want to call that Stripe API. In this case, you can enable permanent mocking so that even when your methods are called from Postman or UI, the mock code will be executed. These mock definitions are saved inside slash test slash resources slash unlock folder of your project. Here is how the file looks like. So what do you think about mocking? Give it a try and let us know your thoughts.